Boyaka, Boyaka. It was a shootout. This scam turns into a shootout. See, this is why you shouldn't scam nobody. The FBI is investigating an alleged Ponzi scheme that became violent when one of the salesmen turned the gun on federal agents. Okay, is this Foley? That's crazy. After being shot twice by the SWAT team, called to his Las Vegas home, Matthew Beasley confessed that the high return, zero risk investment plan he pitched to investors was fraud. So he confessed, all right, all right, he confessed to it, all right? So investors, the majority of them Mormons, were solicited to help finance a company that made short-term loans to people awaiting payouts from settled personal injury lawsuits. Man, crafty counsel. Why is the do evil like the Bible say? They claim payouts were 12.5% a year and not a single loan of the over 16,000 in six plus years had gone bad. Nate Anderson, founder of the Hindenburg research firm that uncovered the fraud through a citizen sting operation called it the most obvious Ponzi scheme we've ever seen. Well, that means like all of those people fell into it. So it says getting money from your home. Okay, with property values at historic highs, it's not a bad time to consider ways to tap into your home equity, said Alexis Leah. But you got to do it safely. If you're looking to do home renovations that could upgrade the value of your home, opening a home equity line can be prudent. It may feel scary to borrow against the equity magically appeared last year, but banks are providing, what the hell is this? Is this still talking about the dang on scan? See, they start talking about something else. Anyway, guys, so be careful. Be careful. Watch out, man. There are predators out don't know how to start legit business, somebody skill or, or some type of value or something like that. So they taking it the easy way out. It's easy to do bad things. It's easy to sell sex, drugs, rock and roll and all type of Ponzi stuff. So just be careful. Watch your back.